All right, folks, how you doing today? Greg here from AffiliateMarketingBiz.com and many other sites. Uh, right now, we're on the W Wealthy Affiliate platform here. And I want to talk about today about the um, GDPR compliance. There's a plugin for WordPress that we're going to install. Um, if you want to read about the, you know, the rules and everything about the, the GDPR compliance in the EU, uh, there's an article here by Cal. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and basically, this is the plugin that he recommends. There's a bunch of stuff here. It is. This is for WordPress. Um, so let's check out my WordPress here. And this is this is actually the, the plugin page here. So you can read more about it there if you want. Um, again, links in the description. And then from your Word from wherever you have WordPress installed, let's just I got mine here. I'm gonna do my test site. This is my uh, thing here. I'm gonna log in. Go to plugins from my dashboard, uh, add new, and then up here in the search box, I just put in that, that plugin. Okay, and here we are. This one right here, top of that icon, um, install now. So then in settings, you wanna go to the settings here, and we wanna enable it for comments on your website. So, Basically, if you have comments and contact forms and things such as such like that, you WordPress stores the email address of people um, inside its database. And now within the, within the European Union, even if you're not in Europe, you know, any site, you should be doing this. Um, so you enable this. Again, like I said, you could read Cal's article. It goes into more in depth about it. But so... Um, by checking this prox, you agree the storage to the website. Okay, so this is like a default message there here. So that's enabled, save changes. Um, we have a checklist here. Now, do you have a contact form? I currently don't have a contact form on this site, but I'm going to check it. Yes, anyways. Uh, could visitors comment anywhere on your website? Yes, there's comments on the website. Is there order form or you know I don't have I don't have an order form in this site so I'll just leave that as no do I have a former message board no uh, can visitors chat directly um, no so I'm gonna leave those as is for this site your site might be different um, and then the settings here um, link to a, I don't have apology uh, a privacy policy page on this site because this is a demo website so for now I'll just put the sample page and that's where you want to link to your privacy page and then activate the page, save changes. Let's go to the page real quick here. Now in the comments, um, there we go. By using this form, you agree to storage talent of your data by this website. And that's just the, for your email, like, I'm already logged in here, so that it's normally will ask for an email on your website and then a comment. I'm logged in, obviously, so it's not going to ask me for that. But then to leave a comment, you have to. I don't know if this will work with me already being logged in. Yeah, so if, if they do not check that box, which basically says WordPress is going to store the email address in the database, um, and that's how that works. Okay, so back on the plugin page where we left off in the settings here, um, I when I activated the page here for this, you get this web code. There's a, um, it creates a page data access request. So if people want to request what data is on the website, this is the page right here, right? Uh, this is what it looks like. You can actually take this code and put it somewhere else on your website as well. I'll just copy that for a second and show you that in a second. But right now this page is private. So, um, let's see, status privately published. Um, I'm going to edit that, make it public. So now my website, if someone wants to request their data, they would put their email address in here. Of course, you just click that box again, and then they would get their data that's on the WordPress site. So, but you can put this plugin, or this plugin, this uh, widget thing here, this, this form, let's put it on the sidebar real quick just to show you. Add a new widget, we'll do HTML. And we'll just put that code in there. 
and then it should just refresh. Yeah, so there. So now you have it in your sidebar. Um, or you could do, like I said, you could put this on your privacy poll. You could put this wherever you want on your website. So yeah, that's the um, base just of the plugin. Couple, just a couple settings. So that is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.